everyone. So, as you can tell from the title, I uh, I am drawing an 80s themed girl, and I really, really am excited for this because, you know, I just like love like the 80s aesthetic and like the vibe and stuff. And also, I went roller skating. Well, actually, I do roller blading, but I went roller blading with my family on Tuesday. So two days ago. Um, yeah, two days ago. Sorry, I'm like losing track of time. But, um, so, yeah. I went rollerblading two days ago. And it was really, really, really fun. And I just love rollerblading because it just feels so fun. But then, it's weird. Because when you get off the rollerblades, you feel so short. Because, yeah, it's not fun. Because I already am short, but it makes me feel even shorter. Yeah. But, I love rollerblading. <laughs> so, anyways... I'm trying to include a lot of like bright colors and like uh, patterns in her design. I was originally going to use like only like the fluorescent colors that come in um, the Ohuhu marker pack, but I feel I felt like that was gonna be kind of too hard because like there are only like three colors and they're like really really bright. So yeah, and I just gave her like. Um, like a rainbow tie-dyed like crop top kind of with a white turtleneck underneath. I also gave her some jean shorts with leggings underneath. She has a lot of like layers on and I thought it looked really cute. But the leggings I'm going to add like a 80s kind of pattern and it turned out really really hard to do and it made my thumb cold. I don't know it's really weird but sometimes when I draw in like really small areas my thumb gets cold it's really strange and then it doesn't warm up for like another hour but yeah the design was quite difficult and i realized after i already did it that i could have just gone in with black like like the dark gray on the leggings and then use posca pens for the design but i didn't think of that so i made the designs with markers and then colored around it with the black and it was very very tedious and hard so um yeah i also gave her um like knee pads and shoulder pads and then like the um wrist glove things that protect your wrists i don't know i don't know what they're called but yeah and my sister pointed out to me she's like why did you give her all this protective gear and not a helmet and i said because I wanted to show her hair, like, because I wanted to do, do, do to, to do the two little buns, because they just looked really cute, and I didn't want to, like, cover it up with a helmet, because helmets are ugly. I just realized that I'm only, like, three and a half minutes into an 11 and a half minute video, and I'm already running out of things to talk about. Yeah, this is a struggle with voiceovers because I never ever script it. I just do, I just wing it, honestly. That's why I always mess up and I make these weird sounds that are weird. Anyways, as you can see now, I'm coloring around the little designs with a, a dark gray marker with like the little bullet nib. Uh, it's like not, okay, so these markers, I got them like maybe seven months ago for my birthday and they are weird they like don't have a brush tip they have like uh the the chisel side which is like comes on every marker i think it's like the thicker one and then instead of a brush tip it's like a bullet tip i think that's what it's called but it's like really small and fine and it's like kind of good for like fine lettering and stuff but yeah i'm using that right now Oh, oh, and also, my sister and I got a 168 pack, I think, of Ohuhu markers, the brush tipped ones, and I'm just so excited because I'm using some of those. I kind of can't think of anything to talk about right now, so I'm just going to put music over it.
with a lighter skin tone for her and I really love shading skin because it's just really fun, especially traditional because I love adding blush like on um, the cheeks and nose and then as well as like the fingertips. I don't know why, I just think it looks really cute. And for some reason, I feel like I drew the hands in this video really well. I usually can't draw hands at all, but I think I did pretty okay this time. I messed up on one of her wrists, but you know, it looks fine. I also gave her blonde hair, and it was kind of like hard, I don't know why, but like, I don't usually have a lot of like colors to make blonde, but I think it turned out okay. Um, I, I like did the basic coloring, like flat coloring, but I still left out some like white areas with a like more yellowy tone, and then I went over it with a darker like brownish almost. And I didn't mean for this to happen, but this girl looks kind of like me. I'm not gonna lie, like, glasses, like, kind of medium-length, dirty blonde hair. And, yeah, I don't know, she just kind of looks like me, but I didn't mean for that to happen. It's a coincidence. doing a background but in the end I totally hated it and then I tried to go over it with white acrylic paint in like one corner and it looked really ugly so I went over it with marker and then it turned streaky so yeah fail with the background I really wish it was an undo button in traditional art like it's just ugh, because you can't erase marker but yeah Anyways, it turned out like okay-ish. I ended up putting it into Ibis Paint X at the end, like a picture of the drawing and adding like lighting and details and stuff. And I think it turned out okay-ish. And I end up rotating this sketchbook a lot. Like, I don't know if you noticed that, but yeah. I tried to make it look like a roller rink and it just turned out weird. Like the wooden uh, floor and then like the blue is like the railing around it so you can so like the new the newbies at skating can hold on to it so that they don't fall off. But yeah, my brother is not like the best at skating and he fell over like three times and then he was crying and he was like really mad for some reason and he made our mom take him home so yeah, he went home within like the first 15 minutes but i think skating is really fun i don't know if i'm the only one who ever does this but like i swatch almost all of my markers on like a t little corner of my sketchbook like if you can see on the side like the part um where like the I don't really know what it's called, but like the little dotted line where you can rip off the paper. I swatch them all like on the other side of that. And it's so weird. Like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I know a couple other people who do it, but I feel like I just do it too much. Like if you flip through a page in my sketchbook, just every single one has like at least like 10 little tiny swatches. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking when I was doing the ceiling of this background. It's like a weird triangle thing and it just looks weird. I ended up adding some lights to the background, um, like the ceiling, as well as wording that says roller skating, pretty basic, but you know. And then um, I didn't film that part, but it, you will see it in the next clip, which is basically where I'm editing the, um, the drawing and adding like lighting effects and stuff in Ibis Paint X.
So this is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.